Hi everyone, marhaba, this is Shariq and welcome back to another lesson with Globetrot with Arabic. It's going to be a Lebanese Arabic lesson dedicated to my Lebanese Arabic students. Look what's behind me, finally. I've been wanting to use it for more than a year now. I bought it one year ago, this green screen. You're not going to see it as green, of course. You're going to see my, my Globetrot with Arabic uh, design. Uh, but I've been wanting to do this for more than a year and finally today I'm doing it. So let's see how the result is going to look like. Uh, by the way, green screen in Arabic is sheshe khadra. Sheshe is screen and khadra is the feminine word, mm, feminine form of the word akhdar. So you wouldn't say sheshe akhdar because sheshe is a feminine word. So sheshe khadra, green screen. Before I begin, today I have an announcement to make. Uh, we're doing the 30-day Lebanese Arabic courses again. Uh, we're doing it right now and it's going really, really nice. I'm so happy with my students and I really hope they are happy too. But they look like they are happy and we're learning so much. We're doing Arabic every single day for two hours and I'm repeating this again starting May 20. The course will be for 30 days from May 20 until June 18. So that's exactly 30 days of two hours of Arabic every day with me on Zoom. And on weekends we do like study sessions together. I put my students together and I do like a monitored study session where, where they study together and if they have any questions they call me, I jump on a phone call with them or I quickly jump on Zoom and do a video call with them to clarify things. So these sessions even are very very important for them to practice what they study during the week. So you can experience the same. We will be doing three courses. Absolute beginners, if you don't know how to read and write Arabic at all or, or you've never learned Arabic in your life or you have very little exposure to the Arabic language. So that Lebanese Arabic absolute beginners course would be great for you. We also have a general Arabic course. It's great if you've done some Arabic or even modern standard Arabic or you want to start uh, learning a dialect. So that's great for you, the general Arabic course, but you should at least have studied Arabic from six months to one year and a half to be able to join this course. And you should at least know how to read and write. And the advanced course is for those of you who can already speak Arabic, but they want to improve their communication skills and discuss more advanced topics. And the advanced is great for you if you've studied Arabic for at least one year and a half to two years and maybe also you're one of those people who studied MSA and who wants to improve their spoken Arabic. For more information you can of course send me a message to my email address which is shariq at globetrotwitharabic.com shariq at globetrotwitharabic.com By the way, there's also the possibility of me opening, opening a general level to class. This is for the people who are somewhere between intermediate and advanced. They are not advanced enough to join the advanced class and the, the general class might be a little bit easy for them. So that's why I might open a general to class. So if you're one of those people, let me know as well in, the, in your email. Um, Let's begin. Today our lesson is going to be a short lesson, but it's an important lesson because we will discuss a word that we commonly use in Lebanese Arabic and it's the word fatis. Fatis. I'm going to write all of them on the screen. So I have them written here on the computer, some examples, and we will talk about what this word means. Fatis literally means uh, suffocation. So when you say fatis, it means the weather is so hot and you go like fatis and you can do this with your hand, fatis. But we don't only use this to, to imply that the weather is so hot. We use it also in different contexts. Another way to use this word fatis we, is the verb of it, bifatis, bifatis. Bifatis literally means he suffocates and bitfatis means she suffocates. Why? Because in Arabic we don't have it. So we have to use he or she to refer to things or objects that are uh, feminine or masculine because you know that Arabic is a gendered language so things can be masculine or feminine like a table in Arabic is, is feminine. We don't know why but it's feminine. And a car is also feminine but a door is masculine. Why? I don't know but that's how it is. Okay. So, uh, for that reason, we sometimes use feminine or masculine verbs uh, as he or she because we don't have it in Arabic, the, the pronoun it, okay? So, when I say bifatis, 
It means he suffocates, literally, and bitfattis means she suffocates. But why do we use them and when? The first example is bifattis min al-duhak. Bifattis min al-duhak. So when I say bifattis, literally, he suffocates. Min, from or of, al-duhak. Duhak means uh, laughing or laughter. Al-duhak. I write it as il duhak but we pronounce it as id duhak means the laughter or the laughing. So bifattis min al duhak means uh, he suffocates from the laughing or the laughter, which means somebody is so funny or something is so funny. For example, if I have a friend who makes jokes all the time, I can say bifattis min al duhak and if I watch the movie that was so funny, I say Bifattis min al which means it's so funny. Bifattis min al And if I'm talking about a friend who is a female friend and I want to say she is so funny, I say Bitfattis. Bitfattis min al And I can also just say Bitfattis. I don't have to say Bifattis min al or Bitfattis min al So next time you find someone so funny, you can say that they make you suffocate from laughter, which means bifattis min al or bitfattis min al And if you want to say it directly to the person who's making you laugh, you can say inta, between brackets, you don't have to use that inta. You can say inta bitfattis min al if you're talking to a guy, and inta bitfatsi min al bitfatsi min al You make someone suffo suffocate from laughter. So that's my first sentence. The second sentence I have here is فَطَّسْنِ دَحِك So فَطَّسْنِ دَحِك I don't have to even say فَطَّسْنِ مِنِ الدَحِك I can just say فَطَّسْنِ So in this case I'm using the past tense فَطَّس is he suffocated فَطَّسْنِ he suffocated me فَطَّسْنِ دَحِك Somebody made me laugh so much so I say فَطَّسْنِ دَحِك And if it's a girl who made me laugh so much I say فَطَّسْتْنِ دَحِك فَطَّسْتْنِ دَحِك Why? Because فَطَّسْت that's the feminine form in the past of she suffocated and then ne is me she suffocated me from laughter فَطَّسْتْنِ دَحِك now, the next one is الريحة بتفتس الريحة بتفتس It's written as الريحة, the smell But we pronounce it as الريحة Why? Because the word ريحة starts with a R And the R is a sun letter So we have to not pronounce the L of the L So instead of saying الريحة, we pronounce it الريحة الريحة بتفتس Literally, the smell suffocates. It's a way to say it smells really bad. Riha bitfattis. Okay? If you, for example, come home and you notice there is a bad smell somewhere in the kitchen or something, you say, Riha bitfattis. And you go like that. Okay? Uh, or if somebody makes a fart, you can say, Riha bitfattis. Or you can also use it in the past. You can say, I suffocated from the smell. And you say, Ftusit. I suffocated. Ftusit min riha. I suffocated from the smell. Ftusit min riha. And by the way, if you also want to say that you laughed a lot, you say Ftusit min dahik. Ftusit min dahik. I suffocated from laughter, which means I laughed a lot. Ftusit min dahik. And if you want to also use, as I said, the word Fatis, you can say it's very hot, but also you can say Ftusit, which means I suffocated, which means it's also hot. Ftusit, for example, if I'm wearing a thick jacket and I want to say that it's really hot and I want to take off the jacket, I can say Rah ishlah jacket. I will take off. Ishlah means take off. Rah ishlah means I will take off. Rah ishlah jacket. I will take off the jacket. Again, I'm not saying رح إشرح الجاكيت. I can say it, but it's fine. It's better if I say رح إشرح الجاكيت. رح إشرح الجاكيت فتوسط. I suffocated. Or if you want to say I am feeling hot, it's been like, you don't want to say I just now felt hot, but like I've been feeling hot and I still am. You can also say futsan in the masculine form and futsane in the feminine form. If right now you're still feeling very hot. Yeah, like for example, the jacket example that I gave you here, رح إشلح الجاكيت فتوسط, you can use the same example but with futsan. So for example, you can say رح إشلح الجاكيت فتصان or رح إشلح الجاكيت فتصان. So today we learned the word fatis, which means suffocation and we learned the verbs of it which is be 
فتس بتفتس and we also learned it in the past فتست or in the past فتسني or فتستني which is in the feminine form فتسني is masculine فتستني is feminine and we learned that we can use it in three different scenarios when there is bad smell الريحة بتفتس when it's so hot you can say فتيس or فتست and finally when you laugh so much you can say فتست من الدحك That's it for today. I hope all your days will be dahak bdahak, which means full of laughter. You see, when I say dahak b dahak, pronounced as dahak bdahak, literally you're saying laughter with laughter, which means full of laughter. Inshallah, kill iyam kun. I hope all your days. Inshallah, kill iyam means plural of yom, which is days. Inshallah, I hope kill all iyam kun. your days because I'm talking to all of you that's why I said iyam kun okay with the kun in the end iyam is days inshallah kill iyam kun dahak bdahak I hope all your days will be full of laughter inshallah kill iyam kun dahak bdahak see you next time bye ma salame by the way I'm uploading the list of the the sentences we did today on my Instagram and on my Facebook at Globetrot with Arabic so if you want to look at the list with the translations go and find them there you can take a snapshot of them and keep them with you for reference see you